A lot of people out there, they just consider gluten sensitivity to be associated with the gut. Right. That's because it was first recognized, the symptoms were first recognized associated with the gut, that when they stopped eating wheat, the gut pain went away and they felt better. So they thought it's a gut disease. Mm -hmm. And when they came up with the endoscopy in the 1950s, a tube going down the throat, looking at the intestines, snip a little piece, look at it under a microscope, they could see all the damage from eating wheat, stop eating wheat, and everything healed. Mm -hmm. But if the first, they, first test they'd ever done was to go up one of the veins and look at the brain, they would have seen the damage and thought it was a brain disease. Mm -hmm. But the first test looked down here, so everybody has thought it's a gut disease, it's a gut disease. It may be a gut disease, but it's not exclusively or not even primarily a gut disease. Mm -hmm. Grains aren't necessarily bad. There's a school of thought that says don't eat so many grains, and that's a good school of thought. But grains aren't bad. Toxic grains are bad. Mm -hmm. So if that grain is toxic to you, it's a problem to you. And right now we know that it's about seven out of ten people have a sensitivity to gluten. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Wow, that's that's, that's huge. It, it's a silent epidemic. 